We headed into this little tiny island, and the professor said, there is no record of any human being having ever been on this rock. <laughs> How fantastic is that? So I study the big ice sheets, Greenland, Antarctica, and smaller mountain glaciers as well. And we do ice for three big reasons. One of them is the climate history that's written in the layers. And we can test our understanding of climate, see what has caused climate to change in the past, how sensitive the climate is by reading that history and then doing things with it. Um, that history is written in ice that is not in the ocean. And if you make it warmer, ice melts, the water goes in the ocean, the ocean rises, the coast floods. So we work on how rapidly the ice might change in the future, depending on what decisions we make. National Medal of Science, I'm just totally blown away. I can't believe this happened. It is very clearly must be recognizing what we have built here at Penn State, what our field has built broadly, because nobody does this, we do this. And it's a, we have a truly wonderful group who study ice here at Penn State and colleagues around, many of the colleagues who graduated with us who are now winning the top awards in the field, that, that they have made careers that, started with us. The dangers of climate change, I spend a lot of time communicating on them. They can be really depressing. But in solving them, we are going to build a better energy system that's going to give more energy cheaper to more people around the entire world. And we can do it cleanly and we can do it in a way that gives people the power to solve the other problems. And so I'm ultimately optimistic that we really can solve these issues, but we're gonna have to work together to do it.